Hey guys, this is Kyle with Construction 180, and today I want to show you a fence we did. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, uh, actually a couple fences we did. They're uh, neighbors, and it is a six-foot cedar pre-stained board on board, top trim, actually double top trim, uh, top cap, and kick plate. So I'm going to walk you through this job and show you exactly what it looks like and what we did. Okay. we walk up to these fences <clears throat> you can notice how all the black hardware looks completely finished out the reason why you can see it so well is because we don't cover the beautiful hardware that you buy or that you pay for a lot of fencing companies will just cover this up that uh, creates a little bit of an issue because as you can see you don't get that seal along here because there's a, a you know a couple uh, uh, bolts in there so what ends up happening is you end up getting a gap behind it or a bowing behind it. So one of the things we like to do is finish out the gates. <coughs> I think it looks better because you get to see that black hardware. You can know how heavy our gates are. You can listen to this. You can definitely hear that when they hit. That's just the material we use. Corner post. Notice how there's two posts in the corner for support. That's your hinge corner. So this is where all your weight's at. So when you get fences that start to sag, the reason they start to sag is because they don't have enough support in the corner. We put two posts there. <clears throat> we also make sure that everything, as you can see, that kind of creates a little space there. So you have complete privacy. Nobody can look in your gate. Helps give it that finished out look. Now, one thing I want to show you, here's the easiest spot. This is the trim packages they picked. So, top cap, trim one, trim two, okay? So, uh, we also did corner trims on this. So, it just gives this fence a very, very nice finished out look. Again, this is a pre-stained six foot board on board, top cap, double trim fence with kick plate. This fence has every bell and whistle you could ask for. <coughs> As I come through your seam posts, these posts are buried two feet in the ground and they are, uh, each one has concrete anchors. If you look up here, our cap comes over halfway. So we use, this case, this was a two by eight uh, uh, cap. Okay, so we're coming over halfway into this one, halfway into the next one. I'll show you the difference and why that's important here in a second. So as I go through, this is the finish side. As you see, it looks very clean all the way down. And then obviously the old fence, and we did another corner over here. So I'm gonna show you the neighbors real fast. I'm also gonna show you the difference between a pre-stained, uh, pre-stained, cedar and a post stain cedar so next door i did some work for him a couple years ago two years ago and we stained the pergola we didn't build the pergola we just stained it <coughs> and i'm going to show you why pre-stain is a little nicer so again before i get to that other point our trim comes over on this side as well now we didn't do the back fence the neighbors did the back fence they had somebody else come out look at it now look at their trim package they used the two by six so they didn't come all the way over but what they did was they didn't bring this two by four over to give both both parties or both sides a top cap so the top cap is here it's there for protection but only one of them get the aesthetics of the fence and I'll show you down here where the two fences come together is probably the best place so again look at the cap look at our cap our cap trim their cap smooth so uh i say that because that's just one of those little tiny attentions to details that get missed by some people <coughs> we don't miss that stuff the other thing i want to show you is here is a post stained deal you can see about two years and they start to get some color loss and stuff like that that's normal for cedar and there's nothing wrong with that uh a pre-stained fence is going to give you approximately five to seven years, basically maintenance free. <coughs> a post-stained fence is going to give you about two to three years and you'll be restaining it again. So again, you can see why that kick plate is important. It allows us to keep the same level all the way across the yard so you get a nice straight fence. Also small dogs and stuff like that, they're not underneath there fighting and barking at the neighbors. <coughs> you can see here's our next gate. Notice the other thing is our caps come up all the way up underneath our trim package. So 
We don't stop them short. Each one of these posts is in the ground two feet and secured with concrete. Again, nice heavy gate, completely trimmed out. Okay, so we did the neighbor's gate as well. They just wanted it to match since they knew we were doing all the, uh, they knew we were out here doing it anyway, so. Again, this is Kyle Reed with Construction 180. Uh, give us a call if you guys have any uh, general construction questions, contracting questions, remodels, fences, roofing. <coughs> My direct cell phone number is 940-210-4038. Again, call or text 940-210-4038, and we'd love to help you answer any questions, give you estimates, anything like that. All right, until the next video, y'all have a great day. Bye.